the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate for bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Let's sing verses 1, 2, and 4. Verses 1, 2, and 4. Chapter 18.
100. I'm sure everybody needs revival, right? Yeah. Want revival. We pray to you, God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Revive us again, fill each heart with thy love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. We're going to sing verses 1, 2, and 3 seated. The last time that we are going to rise up to sing, to be led in prayer. However, before that, we are going to repeat the chorus without the instruments. Slowly, the prayer move. The last chorus without the instruments. Slowly, without the instruments.
evangelístico yeah. que a sua presença seja um fato yeah. para que nós no final do dia possamos te glorificar yeah. esteja conosco e topo dele fica nos quatro cantos deste lugar yeah. aquele que estará aqui direcionar e falar para nós a sua palavra yeah. fala para ele yeah. e ele fará para nós yeah. nos abençoe nos proteja yeah. porque estas palavras em no nome de Jesus amém, amém.
you see that the ministers of God, if you look at the, the room at the back here, it's what we call prayer room. You see the ministers of God, they, they know the value of prayer. And we want all of you to know the value of prayer. That's why you see them to go there praying. If you give all those requests, we will read it and pray on your behalf. God will answer your prayer. Amen. <laughs> Uh, or minister the tradition who swear that he can, or the hard and innocent kind to know who swear that he can. So, so what I'm saying, or at Mono put and your service in a Jamaica, or have a calamity upon him, and we share the Fanaputa or Kongo or Magalikan. Or have a calamity, it I do a little. Tonight is a special night. Say on the number of you, Galikiro. Tonight is a night of revival. Say on the number of you, Papuko. Our brother learning from uh, Botswana, you want to speak to us tonight. Amen. Amen. And he has come purposely so that the blessing of God can be poured in this meeting. Amen. He is the leader of our work in Botswana. And I'm sure you will prepare your heart tonight. Amen. I say, this message tonight is for me. Amen. Not only that it's for you, you say, this message for me is for me to get my own blessing. Amen. We are calling you to host to the altar. Pray. So cry around and ask God to bless you. Bless you. Before our testimony, let's sing the chorus 70. Chorus number 70. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and kills me, and he is the one I'm living for. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. You may not know the tune very well, but in times like this, you need to always learn some new songs. So the audience we play, we are going to sing it three times, then the testimony. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before.
power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I was not brought up this way, but in a wonderful way, I met the children of God, and they told me that uh, to get to heaven, you need to be born again. Amen. I humble myself, I pray, Jesus save me. Amen. Uh, sanctified me. Amen. And baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. I was a young boy at that time. And some of my colleagues said, oh, they give, they give you a few days, you come back to us. But that few days has gone to months and years and decades now. Amen. And I thank God for the keeping power of the Lord of Jesus. Amen. In this gospel, God uh, provided for me. He gave me a wonderful family. And they gave me a good job. And gave me a good, a good team of people who love God. Amen. When I talk of peer pressure now, you have peer pressure and the people around here. When I see how they pray, I want to pray like them. Amen. When I see how they serve God, I want I am also enjoying my peer pressure. Amen. So glory be to God. That my coming my determination that I want to serve it to the end of Amen. my life. Amen. Please pray for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God again this time. The Lord has uh, given me another chance to be known that one. Amen. It's good to serve the Lord. Amen. I met this gospel when I was a very young person at the age of 18 and the Lord served me. Amen. I was a very proud person. I didn't respect elders. I didn't respect anybody. I was so selfish. But when I met the word of God being preached, showed me that if I was not born again, I would end up in hell. So I prayed and the Lord saved my sin. He sanctified me and baptized me with the Holy Spirit. Amen. It has been a sweet journey serving God. Living for God from a young man and a grown up, the Lord gave me a beautiful wife in the gospel and now we have four children and the Lord has kept us. Amen. Through times of hardness, when sickness is come, we always call on the name of Jesus. Amen. And Jesus is always there to serve. And Jesus is always there to lift us from the dark clouds that Amen. the devil will come. I recommend this gospel to the youngsters. It can keep you and Amen. make you a healthy person. There is no joy outside Jesus. Amen. All the worldly pleasures are temporary. They don't last. But at the end of your life, the devil will take you to his hell. But if you serve Jesus and follow his way, God will bless you and keep you. Amen. And it is sweet to serve Jesus. Amen.
Let's continue to Jeremiah. I'm telling you, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 17, verse 9 to 10. Jeremiah, I'm going to hear you. Jeremiah, I'm going to hear you. First line I read. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Ten. I, the Lord, search the heart. I tie the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Then, as the party sitteth on eggs and hateth uh, them not, so he that getteth riches and not by, by right shall leave them in the midst of his days. And at, and at his end shall be a fool. We want to thank God for the company. Amen. We want to thank God for the company. Amen. God is still extending God still extends the I mean his message to us. Amen. This evening is another chance for you to come here. And maybe before. Amen. According to the verses which we read in here, it says the heart is deceitful above all things and this desperately wicked. I want to agree with the verse because when you look at uh, some people who are currently in jail, in prison, some people who are currently in hospital, some are even dead. It's because of that. Mm. Yeah. And it says, uh, who can know it? If in yourself you cannot know your heart. Yes. So this evening, God is trying to plead with you to come before Him and agree and accept yes. that your heart is so deceitful. Yes. yes. What I like about the verse, it does not say the heart of a child, the heart of a woman, mm -hmm. the heart of an old man. It says the heart is so deceitful. Yes. Yes. This evening you could be a preacher, you could be a chorister, you could be a senior minister. What the Bible is saying is warning you that your heart is so yeah. Regardless of how old you are, your heart is so deceitful and desperately sinful. And what we need to know here is that God is trying to give us a chance to come. You know, if you come to God and confess, God will deliver you. Don't, don't be too smart to come before God and confess. Because by doing that, you are encouraging the, 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 the devil to be after you. <laughs> if God does not change your heart, you will die a sinner, you will die a poor and foolish. Yeah. <laughs> And it's only God who can change your heart. Twenty-six to twenty-seven. 
a new heart also will I give you. Yes. And a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out yes. of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Yes. Yes. 27. And I will put my spirit within you, yes. and cause you to walk in my statues, and ye shall keep my judgment and do them. Yes. Amen. Amen. You see, God today is promising you and me a new heart. My prayer is for all of us to have a desire to say, God, today give me a new heart. He said, He's going to take away that stony heart. So if God is, is promising you and me a new heart, what you need to do, your part is to come before God and confess. Amen. You know, there's no need for you to try and catch your old life. Yet you are failing. God is promising you a new start. The first start today, if you come to me, I will give you a new Maybe you have tried before going from A to Z, from Zambia to, to, to Angola, from Angola to Ghana, but God today is saying, I'm promising you a new heart. Yeah. God is not a man who can lie. You see, there is a purpose for this time. And there is a reason why some people fail. Some people, they wish they could be here, but they fail. But you... By the, the grace of God, you are here. Yes. So today, God, your Creator, is telling you, not asking you, He's telling you that your heart is so deceitful. Yes. Who can know it? Yes. And then He's promising to, to say, I will give you a new heart. Yes. That will be able and that will enjoy to keep the law of God. Yes. Maybe today you are you are thinking or you are intending to commit suicide or to go and kill somebody. Hmm. But God is saying today I'm gonna give you a new one. All those worries which you came here about your, uh, uh, your family, your marriage, your job, God is saying, start afresh. This is why I say, God is not a man who can lie. No. God says, I'm going to give you a full heart and you will start a new life. God is going to do it. But you must do your part. Yeah. Your part is going to come here and confess before God in heaven. Yeah. If, if you become too smart for God, God will leave you and go to the next person. Mm. You know, the Bible says when God looks at us, He looks into our hearts. He doesn't look your ears, your nose, your mouth. He knows there's no problem with your mouth. But what your mouth Yes, they only hear and take the heart. Yes. Your eyes, they, they only see and take the heart. Yes. That's why he's saying today, I'm going to give you a new heart. He does not say a new body, no. a new heart. Yes. Isaiah 
25 to 26. Yes. I read. I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions for my own sake, yes. and will not remember my sins. Mm. Amen. 26. Put me in remembrance. Let us be together. Declare thou that thou might, might be justified. Amen. So, God is challenging you. Amen. God says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. Yes. Yes. Jesus is here tonight. He is listening to that to those who will come before him and plead with him. To say my heart, I cannot control my heart. Yes. I don't know my heart. The force from my heart are beyond my 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 authority. Like I said, some people are in prison, some are in divorce, some it's not because they are stupid, it's because they are hard. So today you can come to God and plead with God. Yeah. You, know, you just need to prepare your heart. Yeah. You know, there is this lady, Rahab, when she heard about the power of God. She allowed the word of God, the power of God, to prepare her heart. Yes. She, allowed, she allowed her heart to melt down. Yes. To be at ease. Yes. You know, at the hospital when they want to, to operate to these major operations, they will see to that you are somehow unconscious. Yes. You will not feel it so that you don't disturb them. Yes. If they want to change their heart, they change it. Yes. If they want to cut their liver, they cut it. Yes. And when they finish now, you, you, you start to come back to life. That's how humble we need to, 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 to be today. To us to say, come here, come and pick with me. I am to give you a new heart. Okay, we go to Ezekiel 33, verse 11. 33, verse 11. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes. I read. Say unto them, as I live, says the Lord, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will you die, O house of Israel? You see. <laughs> You need to know that uh, hell is the real. Yes. Yes. If you die with that old deceitful heart, you are going to hell. Yes. This is why God tonight is pleading with you. You know, God does not say, come and tell your pastor. In this gospel, we don't tell our pastor that I'm a sinner. You no. come and tell me that you are a sinner. Maybe I'm worse than you. Yes. So you come to God. God says, come, come and talk to me. Yes. Direct it to your creator. Yes. Yes. We don't talk to God through the prophet. No. By the altar here, you, know, you are given the right to talk to God directly. Yes. So tonight, God is trying to remind you that hell is real. Yes. You don't know even when you are going to die. 
Maybe I'm not trying to, to threaten you. Maybe tonight before you reach home, you will be dead. So why don't you take this chance today and ask God to give you a new heart? You know, on Isaiah 43, 25 to 26, God was emphasizing to say, He is the only one yeah. who can save you. Yeah. No one else can come and claim to say, I can give you salvation. You can go far, you can lose your money, but the Bible says, no one can give you salvation. It's only God, your creator. So here he's saying he does not care about the death of a sinner. He will die as a sinner. God is not worried about that. But the, the devil is happy because you are going to help with him. So today I'm going to ask you to act wisely. Yes. Yes. And come before God yes. and plead with Him. Yes. Report your heart to Him. Yes. Tell Him that I don't know my heart, I can't control it. Yes. Why would you bring so, I mean, so silly things? Did you call yourself a Christian, but sometimes your heart, because it's so deceitful, you what? find yourself doing things as if you, you are not a Christian. Why would you allow your body to be loosed by everybody? It's because of your heart. Those people whom you see at the bus, they don't enjoy that. It's because of their heart. If there is someone today who knows that he cannot control his or her heart, it's your time to come and say, God, I plead with you. Give me a new heart. We read at the last verse, I mean, in John 1, verse 12 to 13. The last verse. Last scripture, John 1, verse 12 to 13, I read. But as many as received him, yeah. to them gave he power to become the sons of God, Amen. even to them that believe on his name. Amen. 13. Which were born not of blood, nor of will of flesh, nor will of men, but of God. Amen. So there is no limit. No. As many as those who come and receive him. God is saying he's going to give you power to be the son of God. Yes. God is going to give you a new heart. A powerful heart. You are going to live a new life. People will ask you what happened. You tell them I met Jesus. Yes. And you gave me a new heart. Things that you used to enjoy will be of the past. How is your heart today? This is your time. You can come here. God is calling you and after singing the other day, it's time to come with you.